All right, you voters widely approved it, and now here it comes. Legal cannabis in the state of Maryland. Governor Moore signed the framework for it into law today, and now Baltimore County is looking to bring its own laws up to speed. WMAR 2 News' Jack Watson caught up with the councilman behind the local layout. Jack. Jamie, Councilman Julian Jones introduced that update at their meeting this past Monday. The goal here is to apply their rules for medical dispensaries to the new shops. A few things you should know when it rolls around this July. Well, for me, it, it was just a matter of making sure our laws are current. It's two months away and county government knows it. Marijuana will soon be legal for adult use. Councilman Julian Jones chairs this seven member county council. He wants to streamline their medical cannabis framework to encompass both medical and recreational. I believe it's probably the same like we have with so many other uh, things like alcohol and every alcohol sales and everything else. We've always kept those things away from schools. And um, so that was the same here. Jones introduced the bill on Monday. As with medical dispensaries before, it would prohibit shops within 500 feet of a school or daycare. It would also separate dispensaries roughly half a mile from each other. If they pass, they'd be new local rules to go with new state rules. In a few moments, I will also sign historic cannabis reform legislation in the state of Maryland. Penn goes to paper on a host of bills in Annapolis Wednesday, including the state framework for the legal marijuana business. Marylanders over 21 can soon buy cannabis at a 9% sales tax. The state also plans to fund social equity within the new industry, providing opportunity to those disproportionately hurt by the war on drugs. The criminalization of marijuana harmed low-income communities and communities of color in a profound way. We want to make sure that the legalization of marijuana lifts those communities now in a profound way. Sales can start this July, so too would Baltimore County's framework. A change to the local law, readying for the dynamic new industry. So we're just keeping everything up to date. Well, again, this is all just a bill for right now. It's on the docket for discussion later this month on May 30th. The council will vote on it this upcoming June 15th.